Hello everyone, I'm Maru. I'm come from Vietnam. This is my first video on the AR topic and I want to start this channel with the Spark AR tutorial video, a camera effects platform from Facebook. If you feel this video is useful, please click the subscribe button below, choose to receive notifications or share it with your friends to watch. Okay, let's start. Introduction to learn more about the Spark AR tool, please visit the official website, www.sparka-r.com. There are lots of detailed information, documents and instructions created by Facebook that you can look at. I recommend bookmarking this address because we will need to access it regularly. Check it out. Spark AR help you create interactive augmented reality experiences with or without code, then share what you build with the world. In addition, I find it really great to be able to help your business reach more people including your potential customers. Imagine, you are running a media campaign, a challenge of users is that they will take a photos at a photo booth, then upload those photos to Facebook to receive prizes. With Spark AR you can build a simple photo booth, anyone can take a photo and post it to participate in the contest. This is really easy, helping to reduce costs but reaching a lot of users. Very great. One more thing makes me really like Spark AR is users not only see the effects that you have created passively but they can interact with it also. They can touch, rotate, track movement, change effects, respond and transform their surroundings, even users can play games on this platform. That's great isn't it? For example, you are the owner of a lipstick shop. You can create a filter to help your users test them lip colors, and when they really love a certain color, they will make a stronger purchasing decision than having to go directly to the store to try. This is very helpful for your sales, especially it uses the Factbook and Instagram platforms, applications that any user will have available in their smartphones. Install Spark AR application. Okay. First, in the Spark AR website, select download or access the link below the description to download. To use Spark AR at this time, the minimum requirement is to have a Mac OS computer. There is currently no version for Windows yet but I think it will start in the next time. Next, you can download an application on your iPhone called Spark AR Player. This software will help you check the AR effects you are doing more accurately. To use it, you need to allow access to the camera, microphone and camera roll. Connect your iPhone to the computer with a cable and start experiencing the effect. Discover Spark AR. Open Spark AR. This is the first screen you'll see. You can start by clicking on the Experts Tutorials tab to understand more how Spark AR works. These tutorials are step-by-step -step designed help you can quickly get familiar with the main functions of the Spark AR. In addition, Facebook team has also created simple examples that you can start at the Samples tab. You can selecting the effect you like and start exploring them. That's great. To start a project, make sure you understand the basic tools that Spark AR provides for you. Let's explore some of the most basic tools. Viewport. This is the middle part of the screen. You will work on this screen, view and work with the effect you are building here. By default, the perspective is set to bird's eye. You can also change the perspective by right clicking on the cube in the top right corner, then changing the perspective you want. For example, you can change perspective to front or top. The emulator represents a device, for example, a mobile phone or a tablet. Use it to preview your effects like real. You can view the emulator as compression or without compression, see with the front or back camera, rotate the screen horizontally or vertically, and many other functions in the settings. In the settings section, a function I often use is simulate orbit, using the mouse to navigate the camera or simulate touch is used for tap action. You will need to switch between these two functions during the execution, especially for effects that interact with the screen. This is the toolbar. It gives you quickly and easily access to many features in Spark AR Studio. First, the insert button. Insert something into your scene, e.g. objects, light or text. 
You can insert an element that will cause your effect to react to its users or environments such as face tracker, plane tracker, hand tracker or 3D, 2D objects, insert light or effects you will use. The AR library section you can add properties and sound effects to your effects for free. For example, you can find a 3D object and add this 3D object to your project by clicking import. With manipulation function, you can use these tools to change your objects like changing positions, changing scales or rotating. These two tools help you change the coordinates and axes of the object. This section helps you to see your effects. Choose from a variety of videos to see what your effects look like to different people, or select FaceTime HD camera to view effects on the camera itself from your computer. You can play the effect or restart it. A good thing when you can check your effect on different devices is by using device type, selecting the drop-down list and selecting the device you need to check. It supports a lot of devices running iOS and Android. If you can't find the device you need, you can enter the size into the custom item, then add your device with the screen size. Workspace button helps you manage your work window. You will need to open the path editor window when you want to link the logic of the components in your effect. Console window helps you control notifications, errors when you perform effects by script. Or you can change your frame to test different viewport. One feature I regularly use is Mirror, which is a function you can see how your effects work on real devices by connecting to the AppSpark AR player on your phone. We will go through the next section. The left bar In the left bar, you will see three main tabs, scenes, layers and assets. The scene tab is where the objects added to your effect are managed according to the parent-child hierarchy. For example, I will add a plane tracker to the effect and it will appear on this scene tab. Switching through this tab helps you manage your layers. When Spark R Studio outputs a scene, objects are displayed in a specific order and prioritize objects closer to the camera. Using layers and assigning objects to layers helps you control the order of objects, making your effect appear properly. Assets tab is the place to manage private assets that you add to your project. You can add your own textures, materials, 3D models, animation and audio files here. For example, I will add a 3D object called demo.day to my project, I will drag and drop it into the assets section. My object will show up here. To use it, I will drag it into the scene section, inside the plane tracker to display it on the floor. You can use the animation that the object has also. The right bar is inspector panel. You can use the inspector panel to make changes to an asset or object that you've selected in the scene tab or assets panel. For example, I will change the size of the demo object to suit the environment. Then make automatic animation work. So you learned about the interface and some basic steps to use the interface of Spark AR Studio. Start your project now.